Hello YouTube, it is Friday, September 8th, 2017, looks like it's about 9.30 a.m. <clears throat> Again, timestamp is for my bit of it, not you guys so much, so I can go back and say, what, what did I do on what such day, so. But we're back on the F100 bodywork today. Um going to be a little bit different because I'm going to set up my painting area like I mentioned in the previous video in episode 3 but here's what we got going on right now this big green monster is an old attic fan how old I don't know for sure it's been laying around our place either here or at my Grandpa's for a long time. Not real sure of the age on it. Uh, I was uploading a video through my phone, so I did get started on it. But what we're doing, we're converting it so we can plug it in to a cord. This is going to be our ventilation. Uh, as you can see, we still are wide open. But today I'm going to show you how and what I'm doing to do that. So when we paint, we'll have these big doors closed. And this side door, where I'll put the fan to exhaust any fumes and paint and whatnot. So we're going to, uh, um, going to just kind of videotape what I'm doing here while I'm while I'm doing it, and uh, you can kind of see with me how it works and what's going on. So stay tuned. Okay, here's what we're doing. Got the plug on there. We bought this at Home Depot, just a regular replacement plug for a cord. Uh, I had an idea that i uh, probably going to use these terminals. I don't know if you can see those. They're little crimp on terminals that go on our screws on our plugs. So it'll be nice and secure and easy. I don't know which of these wires is high speed and low speed, so I'm going to. Uh, Go with one, go with one, uh, try one, see how it works, and then we'll go with, we'll try the other one. So, um, it's like that solid core wire. I'm a little surprised by that, but that's okay. Um, so, get your strippers here. We'll trim these off a little bit. So, no, my white is my calling, so. That one. I have a little struggle getting there with a solid wires out in there. Seems to.
All right, well, give me a cord out here and we'll uh, see if it works. All right, I got me a good heavy cord here, plugged into the wall outlet. We'll see what happens. I haven't tested this, so whatever. It says all live. Well, recorded live. Well, our electric seems to be working fine, but it looks like that that pulley is in rough shape, so uh, it's bent. I'm gonna go throw the belt, so I guess I'm gonna have to uh, check on that, see if I can get that straightened up. So, we'll be back shortly. Crap. All right, we got. I've got the fan running. Uh, for some reason, this camera is slowing it fan way down. It's being much faster than that. Unfortunately, it's also the frame is built kind of the wrong way. Uh, there's the pulley. It's not very straight, but it's doing the job. Been around for a few minutes here. Belt's not come off. As you can see by the grass here, we're moving quite a bit of air. I think it's going to work good as far as the exhaust is concerned, but I am going to have to build a frame. It looks like it's definitely really close to the door frame. But anyway, there's that. Well, uh, I guess I'll build me a frame here, and we'll come back and I'll show you the end result of that. To uh, build my temporary frame here, I'm going to use my little uh, Craig pocket hole set that I've had for a while. I've never had a chance to use, so. I'm going to try that out. This one to pop that in here real quick. We'll show you the end result, like I said. All right, here's what I came up with. Just a pocket screw to two by eight on there. Two by ten, I'm sorry. It gives me some space. The fan away from the door jam. Here's with the barn door closed. I think that's going to work for out okay just fine for me. Next step is going to be some lighting because my good fluorescent lights are back there where the truck is parked. But I'm going to do my painting right here where there's not good light. So, that's our next step. So here's my lighting choice for this painting area. And this is Sarah in general to help me later on. The four foot LED lights, bought them from our local Rural King. Uh, you know, depending on where you're at, you may or may not have one of those in your neighborhood or town. Uh, but anyway, it's uh, 4,500 lumens, it says. I don't know what all that means, but uh, they are LED lights, so they use a little, not much power. Should be nice and white light and they were $25 a piece it's pretty hard to beat so not sure if I'm gonna hang them from the ceiling like my fluorescents or my from this or what I'm gonna do yet I gotta unbox them and see uh, so we're gonna get them unboxed and see what we come up with all right I got my light I decided to hang my lights from the ceiling because I didn't have anything over. I thought about putting it on this wall which is great for the one side, but over there we don't have a wall saw. Put them here. Got the camera with no flash on, so you get an idea of what it looks like now. I'll eventually wire these into a switch. Let's plug them in. And I mean, one of them came on because I accidentally turned it off, but you can already see how much brighter it is with just one. Let me uh, grab a stool here. Hopefully I don't fall right here on camera. Although it might go viral if I do. All right, now we can see how much brighter it is here.
quite nice. Just for grins, here it's still dark with the doors closed, but that's okay. If I turn off the other lights, you can still see we got plenty of light. So I'm well pleased with my LEDs here, so that's good. So it leaves me just one more process to get ready for a little makeshift paint booth here. Got my exhaust fan and my lights. It just leaves me this big wall I got here. But got a lot of expensive things over there. I don't want any overspray on. So that's be my next step. All right, here is my finished product. Doors are not worried about because there's no, actually a help of air. I did move my fan out of the way so I could go in and out my door. But looks pretty daggone good. And use could have used plastic and saved myself about $75 because I bought all these tarps new last night. But I want something I could take down and put back up. Because uh, during the day, normally there's a there's a vehicle parked in here, so I can't leave it like this for extended period of time. But my LED lights and my blue tarps, I think I'm ready for some painting going on in here. Uh, on my posts, I have cleats like that of scrap lumber. Hold it on under my post. I do have one hole or two holes, one there. And then this here is kind of holy, <laughs> but it will work for what I'm going to do. So, after a lot of workshop remodeling, it's now I'm finally ready to start actually doing some body work. Stay tuned, guys.